Now I'm going to say something that may not be agreeable to many of you here because you invited candor, no lecture, but candor, and that is the subject of 5G and cybersecurity. China is seeking to export its digital autocracy through its telecommunication, telecommunication giant Huawei, threatening economic retaliation against those who do not adopt their technologies. The United States has recognized Huawei as a national security threat by putting it on our entity list, restricting engagement with U.S. companies. Nations cannot cede our telecommunication infrastructure to China for fa uh, financial expediency. The floor is yours. Yeah, please. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, yeah, please. He's from China. Yeah, yeah. Hello, uh, I'm from the National People's Congress of China, and I have a very good memory of your successful visit, the construction dialogue we had about the relationship a few years ago. My question is about Huawei. Uh, we, uh, I think uh, my knowledge of the, how the world works is that uh, technology is a tool. And China, since its reform started 40 years ago, have introduced all kinds of Western technologies, Microsoft, IBM, Amazon, they are all active in China. And since, uh, since we started with one, first G, second G, third G, fourth G, all the technologies came from Western countries, from the developed world. And uh, China has maintained its political system the, the, the system led by the Communist Party has become successful. It's not threatened by the technologies. How come if Huawei's technology with 5G is introduced into Western countries, then it will threaten the political system? Do you really think the democratic system is so fragile that it could be threatened by this single high-tech uh, company of Huawei? Let me just say that, <laughs> let me just say to you that are applauding back there that Huawei was created by reverse technology of American uh, initiatives. Uh, that was one of the main ways that they got started. Uh, so yeah, we take, we know the capability that Huawei has. Uh, we do not want to emulate the Chinese system. So it isn't a question of we have Huawei and we are a model, so why are you afraid of Huawei? We're, we understand the power of technology, and I, I say, un, and I've been tracking China for 30 years on trade and the rest of it in terms of intellectual property and the rest. And I tell you uh, unequivocally, without any hesitation, be very careful when we go down this path. 